the counter to the trap, I'm about to break my wrist Jail can't make me snitch, but it can make me make a hit New say break the booth, I say shut up and break the brick He say dope, don't chase no dream, but I say dope, gon' pay the rent Blue band, pink band, like I don't know the gym If you ain't down to catch your body, you can't be a member Hundred round chop, shit, we drop shit, nigga Rappin' on that op, shit, get pop quick, nigga Gang shit, woo gang, play with us and you a dead man I got that G-U-C-C-I across my headband And the whole can't make me chase her, but that Hey, 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 hey. We gonna 30 to 30 TVs. Yeah, I'm about to whip this nigga ass, yeah, man. Right, man. Hey, I'll do this. I'll do this. Fuck all that, man. We, I do we, it. We yes, play sir. pool. You know what I'm saying? I can't shoot pool anyway. Oh, yeah, right. You got the whole pool yeah, table. Yeah. I can't shoot pool. Man, yeah. shout out to Street Capital. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. Always shout out to Street Capital. Street Capital fan for her. Yeah, yeah. Let me bust your head real quick, man. All right. Hey, first of all, number one, he cheating already. He even put solid, solid, um, solid strike, solid strike. Man, it is what it is. Oh, man, see how already. So, what's up with you, man? How you doing, man? No, I'm doing good. How about you, How about I'm you, straight, man. I'm straight. Come on, pocket. So what you got going on this morning, man? Oh, uh, right now I'm on my talk. Um, I just got done shooting on uh, AMP. AMP. Yeah, I got, I got just got done shooting on camp on video. Just got done shooting. So that soon as I left out of camp, I came over here okay. straight up. Um, well, yeah, man. Shout out to Spartanburg, man. I like Spartanburg. Not too many artists really tapped in. Call the body. Not too many artists really tapped in with this tour. Uh, with Spartanburg. Well, like, tell me something, like, man. When you start like getting into like, you know, what I'm saying videography and shit like that. Um, we started about five years ago. Um, picked up a, I picked up a camera because, actually because my son, you feel me? Yeah. And um, I picked up a camera and just started taking pictures of him. Um, started taking pictures of him and stuff and I uh, wasn't really taking it serious. Started taking it serious once I lost my job and I realized like, you know, it's, it's you know, having a job out there. Any given moment you can lose a job, you feel me? Any given moment a job can let you go. So what, what job was it? I was at um, I was at Hill Phoenix, job in Atlanta. So like, where, why did they let you go? Shit, they all. Um, it's your fault. No, it wasn't my fault. I was a supervisor, actually, but no, it wasn't my fault. What happened was ten corner pocket. What happened was the whole plant shut down. The whole plant shut down, and they had to move to um, Pontiac, Flat, Tennessee. So the whole plant shut down. So I wound up moving, moving to Carolina. I moved to South Carolina. I had my camera. You know, I was shooting video for um, $25, $50, $25 an hour. Hey, what? I know, right? Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it was a struggle back then, man. People don't believe it, but I had to stop from there. You know, I was calling people, asking people to shoot videos. You know, just the whole, you know, just the whole grinding stage, you feel me? So, so like, what, what part of South Carolina did you get moved to? Um, what it was? Um, Do West? Do West? I think it was Do West. Shot from Dude, what is it? Dude, West is like in between Anderson and um, Greenwood. Shot from between Anderson and Greenwood. It's like a small town. It's real small. Like, I'm from South Carolina, I'm from Gaines, but I ain't never heard of Dude yeah, West. Yeah, West, man. Dude West. That sounds like Florida or some shit. Yeah, it was, nah, hell no. I wish it was Florida. But nah, it was in the middle of nowhere, you feel me? Okay. But yeah. Oh, shit. He a, he a shooter, shooter. Yeah, that's what they call him. Uh, they call him shooter shooter. Yeah. So like man, when you like, you know what I'm saying, when you when you first got started, like man, talk about that, you know what I'm saying, that process of uh, that, that whole grind, you know what I'm saying? I heard you say twenty five dollars, fifty dollars. Yeah, I was doing um fifty dollars um, I was doing fifty dollar video shoots, um twenty five, fifty dollars, you know, pay for my travel fee. Um then I stopped doing the video I stopped doing the video shoot there, um shout out to Rod, the Rod Global, he's a platinum producer for yeah. the TI uh, um, he told me, Major, you know, you want to get your name out there. How about you shoot everybody videos for a hundred dollars? That's when I had a little, I didn't have a buzz, but I had like a little, little buzz enough to shoot everybody video for a hundred dollars. Okay. So I, I was like, a, I was doing like a hundred dollars music video. And I was shooting everybody video for a hundred dollars. So I about 10, 15, 20 people video for a hundred dollars. That's how I got my name actually, my name started buzzing a little bit because a hundred dollars, 
on your team was major, 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 major. So um, that was pretty much it, corner pocket. Like talk about the editing process, like you know what I'm saying? Like you shooting them, you shooting the videos, you getting the footage, but talk about the whole Adobe process. Oh yeah. And that's what that's what people I, have I, 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 I actually I actually started off in Sony Vegas. Well they can go to um, Adobe was because CEO J. CEO J told me like everybody in the industry is using Adobe. So it's like either you adapt with the industry or you feel like you can do everything on your own and like it's it's always I always tell people, um yeah. I, okay. I always tell people like it's a blueprint to the game. Why not follow that blueprint? People a lot of people want to go away and do the opposite with the blueprint telling you how to do things in the music industry, but it's a blueprint to the game, so the blueprint was do a dumpy because everybody got a dumpy. <laughs> so top pocket. Oh, so man. Um, I heard you, man. I heard you talk about CEO J, man. Talk about that whole, like that whole connection, like. Oh yeah, I see. And that came out of nowhere, like shit. I think I, that's when I first picked up the camera. I was in the clubs and shit, trying to just get little footage and shit. Yeah. Then I saw y'all in there, like the president and shit. <laughs> oh, so no. you know, nigga like me, like, hey, fuck that, I'm solo, so I'm, I'm feeling pressure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, hell yeah, nah. But shit, it was all love. Uh, yeah, nah, CEO J, man, definitely. That's, that's, that's my brother that but he did a lot of shit for me, man. But see the day, you know, before anybody even fuck with Major, before anybody even gave Major a chance, before Major with Major and CEO Dead see me, everybody want they want to fuck with me, CEO Dead like, hey bro, I like fuck with Major Energy, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Major. So every day Major um CEO Dead he'll call me, you know, Major, do this, do that, learn this, learn that, you know. I'm gonna help you with this, I'm gonna help you with that. I mean, business life, personal life. You know, when I didn't, it's a long story, but when I didn't have nothing, uh, and I was, um, a lot of people don't know this, side pocket, but, I don't know, wait. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but, you know, I was um, homeless. I was homeless for about, about three, three weeks, three, four weeks. You know, I just didn't have no home or nothing, so CEO J helped me out. You know, helped me put, put me in a position to where, you know, I started gaining and gaining and gaining. You know, he taught me, you know, he taught me the business, he taught me personal life, he taught, pretty much taught me everything. So he, he's something like, kind of like family member to you now. Yeah, he's beyond family. He's quarter pocket. He's beyond family. So talk about, so talk about like that whole, like, you know what I'm saying, that work, regular life, not regular life, but quarter pocket. It's like, you know what I'm saying, like, the business and, uh, your personal, your personal life, if that makes sense. Oh, like, how do you balance that? Oh, shit. Like, you made it, uh, but when you go home, when I go home, um, you leave. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, but that's it, though. But, um, my personal no, life, man, I don't really do much. I don't really do much in my personal life. I'm going to be honest. Like, I play games and stuff, but. I barely even do that. I just bought a PlayStation 5. Could have bought it like 50 times, but I finally just bought it because my son said he wanted to play the game and I had a PlayStation 4, but I remember him mentioning PlayStation 5, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy me a PlayStation 5. So, so you, you watching the finals right now? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Man, come on, man. I ain't like, man, I'm too busy. Listen here. Monday, Monday I got my meetings with all Street Capital. I come back, I edit. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You see, I've been doing tour, three video, three artists, two day, one day, Thursday. That's nine artists in three days. I got to get a music video back the next day. So I'm, I'm editing three music videos in one night and giving it back the next day. Friday and Saturday, I should be, Friday, I should music video like crazy because people are off work. They got their chance. Saturday. Who, who in the fun? I don't know. Damn, well, you did I'm working. Work. Saturday, I shoot weddings. I shoot weddings. I shoot music videos. I do all of that. Sunday, I'm doing the same thing. Repeat. I do this shit. I've been doing this shit for the past nine months. How long? Shit, don't get married soon here. You uh, shoot my wedding. Oh yeah, for sure. You, you never see my wedding videos? Oh, thanks. So. I got a wedding video right now. I got a hundred thousand views. But it's gonna be in Vegas though. Oh, they gonna be in Vegas? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? We're gonna travel, have a good time. You know. But we'll figure that out. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, man. So I mean, 
The only time I have personal time in my personal life is when I take personal time for myself. Yeah. You gotta keep in mind, man, you always gotta keep working, you gotta be ahead of the game. While you chilling, sleeping, and not doing nothing, guess what? The next motherfucker, they, they take me a spot. So you always gotta keep working. Oh, so like man, you working, you know what I'm saying, doing all that, man. Let's let's talk about, you know what I'm saying, Kuzco. Yeah, and his his whole movement, man, like that the video that you shot with him him and Black Zack, man, talk about that whole experience just oh, it was dope. You know. Um Black Zack jumped on um Black Zack heard the record, you know. Who's gonna sign with Street Capital? And uh, once he signed with Street Capital, you know, he, now he got, you know, CLJ, that videographer, got the whole team on him. So, you know, we just pushing the record, pushing the record. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing, being major, promoting it, shooting it, getting the recaps. So, um, we kept doing that. And then eventually, you know, show, show, everybody stopped booking. Who's going, you know, can they see the movement? Yeah. Once people see the movement, they want to be a part of that movement. So my whole goal, like I told my whole team, my whole goal is to shoot the um, recap that night, night, and drop that shit in the next morning. So we can show these folks we ain't playing. Yeah. So night, shoot the video, next morning, it's dropped. Everybody see what's going on last night. So we did that. So I'm I'm assuming Black Zach seen the movement shot. Black Zach seen the movement and he fucked with the record because it's a hot record, you feel me? Yeah. So Black Zach wanted to jump on it. So Black Zach hit up Kuzco, let me jump on that shit. For the, for the, you know what I'm saying? Off the love. Oh man. Let me jump on that shit. You know, that's, that's what, you know, what really happens. But, um, you know, damn. And, um, so Black Zach jumped on the shit, you know, we heard it, we heard it, you know, everything sounded good. So Kuzco was like, you know, shit, let's make it happen, Jared. Like, shit, let's get major shit. So we linked up, shout out to Starlight Studio. We linked up, you know, had the whole team with us at home, Mary Mac. Um, Brie, did you come? I was not there. Brie wasn't there. I was at a concert. She, she was at a concert now. Slap. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, she, she, she was in the spirit, though. Yeah. That's what they said. The spirit. That was there. Mary Mac pulled off. Man. Shout out to all, um, shout, shout out to our people, man. And shout out to all people, man. Oh, June, oh. celebrate Juneteenth always, every day. Yeah, but yeah, so, but yeah, so we um did the video. Um, shout out to Miko, you know Miko Worldwide. Yeah. So uh, I told Jay, I was like Jay, you know what I feel like doing? He was like, what's up? I said I feel like we put um hit up Miko because you know, I fuck with Miko. Me, me and Miko were close. So I was like, hey Miko, you know pull up to the shoot, bro. Ooh, ooh, you know, I superstar Trent. Trent. Yeah. He told me look, I don't really, I didn't really know everybody. Yeah. I didn't really know everybody. I know it was some names out there. You know, 48 Roy, all of them, like, it was some names out there, but I wasn't really focusing on Quantum Hockey. I wasn't really focus, focusing on who was out there. I was focusing on making sure I get the best shots, you feel me? I mean, the best shots. So, um, we did that. We dropped the record. Shit, it was off man. Yeah, I see, man. Like, man, like, like, really, man, like, I'm on, like, shit, I'm putting all the highlights on you. I ain't gonna care, like, shit. Talk about G Herbo, man. Like, <laughs> like man, I, I was fucked up when I saw that. I was like, damn, like, damn, this motherfucker is amazing. Hey. For real. I don't want to speak too much about that situation because I ain't. But anyway, shout out to G Herbo. But uh, I was really want to give a big shout out to Luffy. Uh, Luffy put me on it. Yeah. Uh, Luffy. Um, Luffy Gang. Uh, Luffy plugged in, you feel me? We'll be introduced. We'll be saying, I got the song. We need to make it happen. G Herbo, G Herbo, like, let's go. And shit, we made it happen. It's not really a big story with G Herbo, you feel me? It ain't a story that I can sit here and go around and say, yeah, me and G Herbo, this and that, this and that. Now, nah, it's G Herbo, good people. You know, shout out to G Herbo, but I fuck with Luke. Straight up with Luke. But G Herbo, good people, though. Okay, good okay. People. We made it happen, you know, chopped it up with him. He, Loopy had to clear the record. Once Loopy played the record, it was game on. Alright, so you gonna say he was, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about Benny the Butcher. You see that? Nah, I did. Look, this was, this was what I was about to say. So, listen here. I was gonna say, 
you already up north, so we're gonna keep it there. So we're gonna go ahead and go to New York and tap in with Benny the Butcher. Yeah, so we, you know, big shout out to Loopy again. <laughs> Benny the Butcher, you know, Loopy plugged in, like, you know, shout out to Benny the Butcher, uh, Butcher though, man. BMF, uh, shout out to Calico Jones for BMF, uh, all of us, you know, like, all of us show me love, you feel me? Uh, Benny showed me love, pulled up at the sky and shit, showed me mad love. It was pretty dope, man. So, like, being the videographer in the game, man, like, tell it, like, tell me the, like, the whole thing, man. Like, how is it, man, just working with these different artists and, you know, that comes with different kind of requirements and shit like that, different kind of pressure. Yeah. Like, how you, how you deal with that? Because I know you, you shoot people videos and then they want that shit back in two hours. <laughs> you know. I, when I shoot that video, they bug me, I know. That's, that's I ain't know until they get their video back. Something about me is if you if you call me and ask for your video, and I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to do a dope ass edit, and you calling me and calling me. If I answer that phone and I feel like you're frustrated, I'm just gonna edit your video and get the fuck up on. Yeah. But I knew now I know not to answer the phone. Like I hit them up and be like, yeah, I got your video coming. And they call me back the next day, like with a video out, I don't pay no attention. I give you a video once I give you a video. Now, do you do you deal with people where they have to with a person that they pay for the video, you done you done the video, you did it for edits. Yeah. But they felt like the edits just wasn't good enough. I didn't have that pleasure. For what they paid. They felt like you could you you should have gave them damn um, you literally lemonade type money. This you, know you 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 pay for my package. I have a whole package list. You sit there and pay for my regular basic package, my cheapest package, which is a five hundred dollar package. You pay for that shit. That five hundred pack, five hundred dollar package don't got no FX editing, no nothing. It says it right there on my shit. If you want that crazy effect, you gotta pay for that. If you want that crazy, crazy, crazy effect, pay their eliminate on um, five ten dollar model. You get it. Like that. But yeah, niggas really be tripping about that though. All oh, right, ask for more edits. Like, bro, he didn't pay for all that, bro. You only pay $500 for a video. He didn't pay for all that. Now, do you know how much? And I, one, one thing I can't stand is when the, when the motherfucker show me NBA Young Boy video. <laughs> or, or Fred or Bang video. Word. Like, nigga, do you know how much that, you know how much they pay for a video like that? They blind. They just, they just see, they just see nigga drop a video. Yeah. It looks like it, it can be done at a cheap level, but that shit ain't cheap. Do you know how much they pay, pay for that video? The niggas, and then your boy paying the video for 25, 3, 4, 5 dollars just to shoot a video. Fred O'Bain paying 25, 3, 4, 5 dollars for the video. Maybe y'all only can't make it five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a video. So shit, would you, would you, the young boy call you right now and be like, nigga, I need you full time. Got, got, and young boy call me right now and say he need me full time. I'm yeah, I got you. That fucking young boy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, man, young boy just call me, man. <laughs> but now, uh, I mean, I can do the crazy effects. But once it gets to a certain level, like, once it gets to, like, NBA young boy and the Fredo Lang shit, I got to pay somebody to do that. Like, when you see Lyrical Lemonade, when you look at the credits for Lyrical Lemonade, you see Cole Bennett. Cole Bennett is the main shooter for Lyric Lemonade. But you see, he got 10 other people on his team. Exactly. You think Cole Bennett edited and edit, edit, do everything by himself? Nah, Cole Bennett got to pay this person, he got to pay that person, he got to pay that person. So that's the reason why his video be 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 dollars. Because everybody got to get paid. So when it comes down to me, if you want a video like that, yes, I can make it happen. I just, I know people who do edits like that. I just got to pay them three, four hundred dollars just to edit a video. And I gotta, you gotta pay my price, you gotta pay his price, you gotta pay the next person's price. That's how it works. You pay for what you get. You want a $200 video, I'll go ahead and get you a $200, $100 music video. Whenever you, whenever you take that shit to the a or the music industry, they're gonna look at that shit and say, what the fuck is that? Like, you know, you don't deal with the, the A&R, you know what I'm saying, just the whole music industry? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, shout out to um, um, Bobby Fisher. Um, Bobby Fisher, he's with Empire. He's the vice president of Empire. He's the one that he's the one that gives you the deal. He's the one that do all that. They help like real folks, you know. That's, man, that's fucked up. Then I wrote Empire. They ain't write me back. For probably wrote, probably wrote Gazi. Yeah, 
I wrote guys, I wrote Empire page. Nah, uh, you supposed to write Bobby Fisher. Bobby Fisher ain't gonna answer them, but Bobby Fisher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me, me and Bobby Fisher close. Uh, shout out to L Nice. He's a uh, he break records. He got he broke a lot of records. He from Florida. He from Florida. You know L Nice? Me here. Well, I don't know about me. He got ball here. Yeah, he got ball here. I don't know. Yeah, he got ball here. My bad, L Nice. Hey man, we talk shit. What is all this? Hey, but yeah, L Nice. He's um. He he's the one that's breaking on um, Cusco on uh, the lick record around, you know, besides Black Zack and he'll meet on them, but he's the one that's breaking the record um outside of South Carolina. Okay. So we got people working behind the scenes. It's, it's a lot to people don't artists don't realize you need a team to break a record. Don't think you're gonna do a song and the song gonna pop and my song hard and that's how the record broke. Bullshit. Record gonna break like that. Do a song, you got a cameraman, you got a promoter, you got a marketing team. You drop that song, once you drop that song and the song catch a buzz, you got people like the CEO J, we're going to put the bad behind the promotion and stuff, the radio, the marketing, all that stuff. You got the marketing person who knows everybody, who knows all the DJs around the whole yeah. state, which is hell nice. Hell nice, go to the DJ, hey, play this record, move the move. Sometimes pay, you know, do what they got to do. That's how you break a record. Artists feel like they can do it by themselves. Artists feel like they don't need nobody. So, can a broke artist get rich? Yeah, for sure. I knew I missed that. Yeah. Um, uh, along with they got an investor. Yeah. No, I'm talking about just playing that broke. Like he, he don't want no help. He now you can do it all. Oh, he, no. he just no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him five hands. He five. gave enough five hands. It's possible. Yes, it's a, it's a possible change. But name an artist who was broke and didn't put no money behind their music or themselves that made it. Name an artist. See, I don't know. I think they talking about like back in the day, like you know what I'm saying? Like P D to come to the next you know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Be like, oh yeah. No. Nah. No. Nah. The only way a broke artist can the only way a broke artist can make it in the industry. If somebody hear that broke artist music and invest on money, invest into it. They take two hundred fifty dollars to break an artist in one region. It takes two hundred and fifty dollars to break an artist in one region. Two hundred fifty dollars. Yes, you can luckily get broken. What I mean by luckily is the cheap route, the cheap way, not cheap way, but the lucky way. Now you got to drop the whole two feet in one time. No, not at one time. Two. It takes two hundred and fifty dollars to move a record. Two hundred fifty thousand. How much you think radio costs? Shit. How much you think? I ain't talking about no internet radio. I'm talking about how much you think radio costs. I don't even know. Okay, it costs money. I know this because I'm in the industry. I know this because I didn't been inside the room talking. I didn't been in there with CEO Jerry talking to these big labels and all that. And it, that's the reason why I want, whenever an artist get a record there, how much do an artist get? Two hundred fifty thousand. You don't never see an artist get a fifty thousand dollar deal, seventy five. You always see two hundred and fifty thousand. Always. I think Boosie, uh, what Boosie off of Kodak that's, twenty? That's Boosie. <laughs> Boosie can do that. I'm talking about an independent label, independent artist, no buzz, no nothing, just working. You got to keep in mind. In order to get any shows, you got to pay for the shows. If you if you're an unknown artist, if you haven't been grinding, you just starting off, whatever, woody woo. Keep in mind studio time. Keep in mind videos. All of that stuff plays a part. All of that, all of that is within that two hundred fifty thousand. Then you got to keep in mind for somebody to service uh, for a DJ to service your record costs a couple of dollars. Yes, they can do it off the love, but eventually it's going to cost because now you got to break your record in another in another area that don't know who you are. Now you can be like, don't get me wrong, Cusco. Cusco had a buzz. Cusco was already, you know, being Cusco, he was already doing what he was doing. He was, he, He's been doing it for a couple of years now. Yeah. So the only thing Cusco needed was a push. He needed an enhancement. Like you can keep doing what you're doing, but you're not gonna make it nowhere. You can just keep doing, keep doing these shows, whatever. That's not gonna be nothing. You're just, you're just doing shows and that's it. But once you have that team, you have that movement, you got that bag put behind you, then they gonna do nothing but enhance. Enhance, enhance. Just like a spray night. We went to we went to Florida, uh, Cusco, uh us. You seen that footage when we went to Florida? Yeah. We went to Florida. That shit cost. Florida, we ain't go up there for free. That shit cost. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Room. That's one trip. How much do you think that trip cost? 
Oh, he didn't want to say it. Okay, nigga, that's your call. That's your call. 250 down. Not 250 down. <laughs> 250. But anytime, anytime you shot, anytime, I ain't lying to you on it. Yeah, you gonna be sad. Anytime you're pushing the record, just keep in mind, $250,000 to break a record. And I'm not saying, oh, you need it. If you don't have, if you don't have $250, you can't blow up. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that's just a that's just a normal and an average way to blow up a artist. You know, ain't shit free. Just because you got a hot record, that don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. I can sense it. <laughs> he, he know what's going on. He just ain't saying that. Nah, nah, nah. Some, somebody may get mad because you shot that nigga video and they make that and, and, and they thought that where they, they want you to be loyal to them. It's like, why you shooting a video with my op? And it's like, damn, I don't really know none of y'all niggas. They say, I'm man. I pull up, I shoot your video, I give you a video you need. But yeah, people, believe it or not, people be feeling some type of way. People feel some type of way when you do something for them. And they feel like they can shit on you and you take a step back and they feel like, oh what? Like nah nigga, you fake me, why are you taking a step back yeah. People feel like they can talk to you how they want to talk to you because they got money. And I got money too. Why you in my video like oh boy? Oh why you ain't push me <laughs> like you push oh boy or shit like that. Like like it's, it's a lot of people who feel some type of way that I was pushing Cusco the way I was pushing Cusco. Like a lot of people, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, but I had people who send me inbox like, bro, you you, you dig Rod and Cusco and shit, man, but don't want to push my record. Don't worry about it when I see you with all smoke. Like, shit like that. I'm like, yo, Cusco's my artist. You know? Cusco's see, that's, that's the crazy part, because they talking about smoke with you and going to jail. But I'm over here like, hey, hey I don't have to do this. They say, you better not show the police this. I said, I'm not going to show the police this, but. <laughs> I ain't going to say who. I ain't going to say who. Uh, but, nigga, I don't got death threats. This motherfucker hit me every time I'm going to kill me and the dude. Like, I'm like, for what? Bruh. The thing about it is, it was a little, well, I ain't gonna say it was fake, baby, niggas didn't have no problem. Niggas got, niggas be crazy. Niggas was locked up or something like that, but I'm like, damn, I'm like. Niggas be crazy, fake pay. I got a nigga right now, going around making it seem like I'm a police. I don't know if you've seen it. You seen that little shit they got, they got out of me? Yeah. Hey, we ain't trying to, we, we got Carolina homie, man. And we trying to blow up Carolina on Street Capital is an independent label. That's trying to get a partnership with a major label. So we're trying to make Street, Street Capital is trying to be the first major label in South Carolina. At least one of the biggest labels in South Carolina to where we can put a lot of artists on. People don't, artists don't realize, man, it takes one artist to blow up, blow up, blow up in Carolina. It takes one label to blow up. Once that label blow up, the label can start signing other artists. Because now the label got millions and millions and millions of dollars to put behind it. So, and that's where CLJ is coming. CLJ is trying to be the first independent label to go major. And then the next step is Carolina, man. Stop putting Carolina on the map. Okay. That's the whole goal, man. Because once, once the label worth 50, 100 million dollars, it's easy, it's easy for us to repeat the same thing we did to break this last artist. All right, then we got such and such. We're going to bring such and such in here. We're going to get such and such 100,000 dripping out. Yeah. Like situated. We're gonna put 250,000 dollars behind the music. We're gonna use the same method. We're gonna keep it on. Next artist. Blow up that artist. Yeah, just keep, just keep Next artist. Keep, keep it going. Keep it going. Now you put a South Carolina artist on. There's a lot of hot ass artists in South Carolina. Nigga, I just left um AMP. That nigga hard as fuck, man. You know AMP and um M Instagram. Man, you already done some music? Man. Hey skirt. Man. Yeah, but you got a lot of artists in AMP, you got, I can name a lot of them, I don't want to miss none. The niggas stop feeling some type of way, but you got a lot of hot artists out here. Yeah, man, like shit. Spongebird, they got, they got a few, you know what I'm saying? Spongebird, Greenville, Greenwood. Gaddy yeah, got some. My, my yeah, city, man. So I got to shout out my city, man. Shout out to Gaddy, man. Man, South Carolina, period. Low State, it's a lot of hot artists in the Low State. Yeah. There's a lot of clubs in the Low State. That's what I'm saying. The other state, the other state scene is straight. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Low state. And I know this is running with Kuzco. You got a car show. 
You got a regular club. Nigga, nigga could be a one hit one in his own city. And he gonna get booked at 10 clubs out of it. Man, you can leave one club and go to another club and go, man, this is the time we had two, three shows at one night. Man, the lower state is where it's at when it comes to these promotions. Like, upper state, I fuck with upper state. It's so hard to get booked in the upper state now. I don't give a nigga, you got a high night record, they ain't booking you. Hey, you know, nigga. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> but you gotta be popping, popping, popping to get booked in the upper state. We try to be like DMF in the upper state, man. Man, look at Little Mexico. Little Mexico's hot to the dirt, man. It's hard to get Mexico in the upper state. Hey, you see that nigga shooting on uh, Instagram? Man, that nigga went crazy. Uh, Tell me something, man. How it feel to be in the hardest city if you try to live man? Hey, man, it was a blessing, man. I appreciate you, man, for having me, man, for real. You know, shout out to Spartanburg, man. Hey man, it was all love. I would be that. I would be that. It's cool, man. Man, he lying like hell.